that's not good. Um, hello? Want me to follow you? Who are you? Um, what's with the Mr. Red Face? Hello, everyone. This is Charlotte, and today we're going to be playing Bad Parenting, which is a horror game about bad parents. And this is an episodic series, so if you want to see future episodes, just kind of let me know in the comment section below. And depending on the length of any new games in the series that come out, I may end up streaming them. So let's just kind of dive in a bit. I like the music though, very retro. So yeah, this is episode one. Mr. Redface. I kind of have a feeling I think what Mr. Redface represents. And it's not good. Is that the mom? Very stylistic. Mom, you're home late again. Come on, I was busy with work. Do you have some sympathy for me? Where's dinner, by the way? But today is my birthday. Damn! Oh, oh, of course I know that. Well, where's the present? And where's my gift? You kid, you already know the right questions to ask. Um... Have you ever heard of Mr. Redface? On the birthday of good children, Mr. Redface secretly leaves gifts while they're asleep. Really? Of course. Want to get your gift? Have to go to bed right away. I'm going to bed right now, Mom. Uh-oh, here comes Dad. You're fooling the kid again. How many times have you come home this late? I was working and my shift ended late. Bullshite. Still think I'm an idiot, don't you? Damn. Is that where this is going? Hey, you little shite. Get back to your room. Child should sleep on their bed, not under it. Now stand here eavesdropping on grown-up conversations. Okay. Yeah, I'm totally gonna eavesdrop on your conversation. Look, I'm eavesdropping right now. See? Eavesdropping. Eavesdropping. Whatever. I'm out of here. Hmm? Nice kitchen. Take a look around, see if there's anything in the... Anything in the trash can? Nope. Microwave, sink, refrigerator. Uh-uh. Stove. Alright, let's go to our room. Can we call the telephone? The protective services? Nope. Is this our... Mm, I think that is our room. Oh. Oh. No, yeah. Well, that's why it's why she stays home late at the office. Okay, time to go to bed. Guess we go to bed. Nighty night. Hopefully dad doesn't come in here drunk. Um, thunderstorm? Yep, just a thunderstorm. I hear footsteps. That's not good. 
Um, hello? Want me to follow you? Who are you? Um, what's with the Mr. Redface? What is going on here? I thought Mr. Redface was going to be something else entirely. Is he like an actual supernatural being? Are we about to pull a Narnia? You know, with the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe over here? I guess not. At least not yet, anyways. Oh, it's a doll! That's what he left us. Is that the gift from Mr. Redface? No way! Okay, if this turns out to be like... Hi, I'm Ron! What? You can talk? Of course, because I was created by magic. That seems pretty sus. You even have the same name and appearance as me. That's right. My master made me just for you. But your neck seems a little... a bit loose. Ooh, what is that implying? It's okay. Sometimes my master makes mistakes. This is just a small flaw compared to the other dolls. What's important is that from now on, I'll be your best friend. That sounds wonderful. You want to play something with me? Hmm, my master stored my toys in the closet. Ooh, this is just like Narnia. Could you get them for me? Um, sure. What kind of toys are we talking about here? The closet is still stuck. Can you try that again? I'm trying. You want me to do something else? I'm hungry. You're a doll. Can you even eat? No, you'll be the one eating, but I'll be able to feel everything you eat. My master linked all your senses and emotions to me, so I can easily understand you. That is extremely concerning. Wow, that's amazing. And concerning. Alright, this is like a bad idea. Want to have some blood clog? What about some questionable pills? You're reading this letter at 1 p.m., aren't you, sleepyhead? We prepared your favorite dish in the fridge. Remember never to heat it up before it eating. Lately, I've noticed you've been getting lazy about eating. Now, I don't have much time at home, so please learn to take care of yourself and stop making me worry. One more thing. Don't forget to take your medicine after eating. Mom. What? You're holding something else. Oh, okay, I get it now. There we go. Not your favorite dish? Want to perform some magic? Yes, please. Oh uh, boy, I got a bad feeling about this. All right, I'll make this plate of food never run out. Every time you finish eating, the dish will be restored to its original state. What the? Wow, that's amazing. I'm very concerned right now. What else can you do? Uh... Oh, boy.
Somebody's getting sauced. Holy crap! What was that? What, what just happened? I don't know. You, you guess. Oh no, the bottle. My dad's gonna whip my... Gonna whip my butt. I hope he's still asleep. Your dad? Don't worry. My master has taken your dad away. What did you say? Oh boy, I think I know what this is referencing. Oh boy. Where's my dad? As I said, my master has taken your dad away. Why? Oops. Your dad is a bad person. Well, I mean, he is, but still. He often hits and yells at you. Parents like that are taken away by my master to protect children like you. So, basically, your child protective service is a doll for Oh, wow. But this is too much. My dad doesn't deserve that. He's a bad person. No, he's not. Please, let my dad go. I'm begging you. All right, all right. My master won't like this. It's quite a long way to where your dad is being held. You'll have to use a shortcut if you want to go get there in time to save him. Show me the way. The shortcut is through your closet. Oh boy, this is exactly like Narnia. You see, I, I, I called it. I called it, chat. I called it. Still can't open it. That's disappointing. I guess we'll have to use your parents' closet then. Yeah, this is exactly like Narnia. You should know that these closets can function as portals. They can take you anywhere you want, including where your dad is being held. Give it a try. There's nothing in here. Oh, right, I forgot. There are a few steps you need to take to activate this shortcut. Bring your dad's radio and place it in front of the closet. All right. Yep, this is definitely Narnia. This radio will work like an elevator button. You need to select a frequency first. Use the right frequency. The door will open to the place you want you to go. Seems like that's not it. Let's try again. Nope. <laughs> um, nope. I think this is the one. Go ahead and step in. I'll stay here and watch the house. You dirty, rotten, whatever. Yep. Um, can you help me? Strange looking at demon thing. I'm not entirely sure what you are. What's up? Oh, it's a cat. I'm looking for my dad, yeah? Describe. My dad's name is Bruce. Wait a moment. There are many Bruces here. Any more details? Is this Bruce a good Bruce or a bad Bruce? Well, my dad is the kind of person who gets a bit angry. So, he's a bad Bruce. Let me see. Still many bad Bruces. More specifics, please. What else is he? Yeah? 
He often yells. Still not enough information. Sometimes he hits me. And slaps, too. And... That's all. The door is behind you. Alright, let's go. Why does that car look so beat up and look like... Um... Hello? Boom! <laughs> he just got startled. Who are you guys? Just like you, we're kids on our way to find our parents. We're staying here for a bit. You want to join us? I'm sorry, I'm in a hurry. Okay, see you later. Oh boy, we're gonna wind up like them, aren't we? Well, there he is. This doesn't look too good, though. You okay, old man? Dad? Please stop punishing me. It's me, Dad. Please. Oh, no. What has he done to you? Come on, let's go home. And Mr. Redface will take both of us. Please. Alright, we need to get the hell out of here. What's this do? Bell. Oh! Oh, no. What is she planning? Why are you looking at me? Oh, holy crap. Hey, what's wrong with you? Why are you hiding in the closet? Mr. Redface has taken Dad. Oh, well, that's a good thing then. I'm not joking. It's a long story. Let me explain. How's your doll, Ron, doing today? Is it alright? The doll? Mom, how do you know about it? Of course I know, since you haven't taken your medicine today. This isn't the first time you've had such hallucinations. Every time you tell a different story, but the commandment factor is always that stupid doll. Don't you remember the previous times? No? Uh, I don't know what is wrong with you. Go to bed. It's midnight already. You know, you're not much better than Dad. This Dad is more aggressive. We're not going to bed, are we? Um... Oh, crap. Well, this is really bad. What just happened, son? Are you alright? I think we need to go to the hospital, yeah? You feel better now? Yeah, Mom. It's Mr. Red. It's all right. Tomorrow, I'll take a day off to stay home and take care of you. Really? Promise me, Mom? I promise. I'll go back to sleep. Yes, Mom? What the frick just happened? Mom? <sighs> They've broken the promise again. <gasps> um... Holy crap! I guess Ron wasn't evil after all. What happened to you? My master beat the shite out of me. He wasn't happy about what happened yesterday. I'm sorry, this is my fault. By the way, have you seen my mom anywhere? My master has taken her away. 
What? It just happened. I'm sorry, I couldn't stop him. Well, I was wrong about the doll. It's not evil after all. You too. No, I have to save my mom and my dad too. How? Don't you see what he did to me? Oh, little cheat code. I found this at my dad's prison. I think it might help us defeat him. That, that's the spell to defeat Mr. Redface. Come on, quickly. Go into the closet to find where your mom is being held. What is going on here? That's gotta be where our mom is. Quickly throw the spell in there and take a cover. Oh boy. Oh boy, what's gonna happen? Um, did we kill it? I think we did, whatever it is. Did we do it? What do we do now? I guess we did it. Holy crap. Um, uh-oh. What's happening to you? My master has been defeated. The magic cast on me is also fading. Are you disappearing? Don't worry. This is what I wanted. Go outside and see your parents. Did good, Ron. They're back! Dad? Mom? Y'all are free now. Ooh, damn! I don't know if I should say that. I told you I was busy with work. Liar! Neglected this family for another man. Aren't you ashamed to lie to your son? What about you? Think you're better than me? You're just at home leeching off me all year round. What kind of father are you? No matter what I do, it's my business. I'll still bring my money home to support my child. Child! You still think I'm a fool? You're lowering yourself even below that. Damn! One more word. Fine, you and I will get a divorce. One of us will have to move out of this house. You're still here tomorrow. Take my son and leave. Okay, right there. Ooh, uh oh. This is not gonna. Nope, this is not gonna go well at all. Well, now we understand what was up with the bottle earlier. Man, drinking straight from the bottle is a really bad habit, you know? Well, that explains Mr. Redface. I kind of figured out that was the case from the beginning, though. I won't let this happen. Uh 
Oh boy. I get the feeling I know where this is going. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, this is really bad. Well, that explains Mr. Redface. Ooh! That's why the doll's neck was crooked, too. Yeah, this is really not good. No, 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 no. I hate to break it to you, kid, but you were dead the whole time. Very sorry, Ron. Closet. I think you'll be able to open it now. Yeah, this is like a really messed up version of Arnia. Discover the truth. Oh boy. Oh no. It's worse than I thought. How long have you been in there? Why don't I know anything about these? You've always known. I am the knowing part of you. Trying to deny and reject these things, made up stories to make yourself feel better about you and your dad. He had to find a way to lead you back to the reality. Tried many times, many ways to help you accept this as easily as possible. Every time I fail, guess what happened? Tick tock, boom. Memory resets back to the starting point. Night, your dad murdered you. How long have I been dead? Fourteen days. That's why it looks like that rigor mortis is already sitting in. What really happened to my parents, man. Dad, hiding in a cheap motel room. Oh, that explains the place that was prison. Oh, no. Yeah, he's having nightmares about what he did. Stars are right, though. Go home with me, Dad. Ooh, that's really creepy. He kind of deserves it, though. What about my mom? She still sees me, doesn't she? That's right, because she's only at home late at night. It's daytime. Mom? Huh? Son? Oh, she's about to learn the truth. Holy moly. <laughs> Damn. I actually feel really sorry for her. <laughs> Do you have any clues about your husband's hiding place? Drop something, ma'am. Oh, the piece of paper from earlier. What is that? A business card for a motel. That's no ordinary magic spell. But I'm not sure it's mine. Ooh, the dad's gonna get arrested. Yep, he's arrested. He's going to prison for a long time. Well, at least we got a proper service. So, like, I'm gonna kind of talk about some of the themes. Like, obviously, pretty much by the end of the game, it kind of confirmed that we, the kid, 
were pretty much dead the whole time. And they were just kind of reliving a series of played out events, you know? And it, like, the closet kind of represents the portal to, like, afterlife. Like, with a whole bunch of other dead kids. Clearly, see right here. So, in a way, it does kind of work like Narnia in a really twisted sort of sense. But, obviously, like, I kind of caught on right at the very beginning the game that, like, Mr. Redface is going to represent the father. Like, but, there's like a few of still things that kind of caught me off guard. Like, it took me a minute to realize why the doll's neck was, like, crooked and stuff. Um, that really caught me off guard. I did not see that coming. But I kind of knew something was up with, like, the magic spell. Like, it was like, you know, like, Clue kind of leading us to what really, like, actually happened. But, yeah, we're going to wrap it up for now. So... Um, let me know what you think in the comment section below, and, um, I'll see you on the next video stream. Bye-bye!